am a whole foot taller than Morgan. I know. I'll stand back here so we're at the same height. We are reunited. We're reunited. Um, I literally feel like I'm a whole foot taller than you right now. And I thought my shoes are a little thick today. I am wearing thick shoes. True, true. Your outfit's very cute. Thank you. We are going to get flowers. So I had to look a little nicer, you know. And what are we celebrating this weekend? <laughs> my birthday and Morgan's birthday. Well, okay, but like mine already happened. She's a teeny That's bit right. older. I'm so excited to catch you up on like the decorations, like what's going on, the plan. Katie's like the the planner. I think you should like have a, an event business. Oh. Okay, we'll get back to that. First we went to Morgan's Market. Katie's birthday theme was garden, so we wanted to get a lot of different pretty colors. I had to take a video of this pretty pink building with the bow. Such an it girl, you know, she's got the bow aesthetic. Then we went into Elan's Flowers to get pink peonies, which were kind of like the star of the show. Back to the apartment to assemble all of the vases. There was three big pink ones and then a bunch of little ones as well. And of course, the cake, frosting the cake. Like that doesn't look too good, but I promise the other sides look good. Oh, it looks so good. It looks so smooth. So cute. Do you want to tell us about it? Yes. It is a fun funny cake. Two layers, one box of cake, two things of frosting, and blueberries because my party is like a garden theme, so I thought this would be really easy to make. Um, but it kind of looks like there's a ton of Mickeys on it, but... Oh, I didn't even think it's of that! Okay. No, they're cute! I we got a bunch of flowers going on here. The cake is frosted, so it is now the best time. Yep. Oh my god. Oh. Miss Betty knows what she's doing. Miss Betty Crocker, mm. she's tried and true. Okay, so for context, Katie is having a birthday party tonight. We're going to, what's it called? Ogawa. It's a sushi place. And so she's like setting up the tables and like bringing drinks and stuff though. So that's why we just made flowers, made the cake. And now we have the task of making drinks. The problem is we have to like taste them and make them to make sure they're like good because they're martinis. And I don't know, we don't have like a strict recipe, but it's like you can't keep tasting the drinks as you make them because then you're going to get drunk and... We called in backup because yeah. we were starting to get a little drunk. We are making first lychee martinis. We're also doing dirty martinis. What else? Palomas. And palomas. Katie said the lychees look like brains and I can't get that out of my head. They do. <laughs> Stop. Look at how cute that is. Katie also designed and printed menus and wrote everyone's name on a place card for each person's spot and she even customized matchboxes. We set everything up down the center of the table, added candles and candlesticks. It was honestly so cute and so perfect with the theme. And there she is, her dress was so cute for the theme as well. I never even showed you my dress, so here's a picture. <laughs> but this place was so cute. It was actually like one room, so we had basically the whole restaurant to ourselves and they made the sushi right next to us essentially. So they just kept bringing out dishes and dishes and we pass them around. Everything was so, so delicious. And they kept one of the menus and hung it up. As you can see, there's a bunch of other people's menus too. It was the cutest place. And then we did go out to a couple different bars afterwards. So much fun. And the egg and then literally every piece of it. Did you get plain bagel? A bagel a day. Oh yeah. We are getting ready to go to the pool at Dumbo House. We're back from Dumbo House because it's like a social club, you know? They don't like 
obviously want you filming and stuff like that's kind of weird so i didn't even bring my camera but it's super cool and we're both just feeling very tired and very slow so we're just gonna chill we're back at the apartment and we're just hanging it's so cool having a best friend that lives in such a cool place because like obviously i want to come see katie but also like who doesn't want to spend a weekend in new york We are at Talk. Okay, we are live and well. It is the next day after the birthday party. We're enjoying some chips and guac and three Cokes. <laughs> Coke addict. <laughs> okay, the reason I said that and we were giggling is because Katie was getting refills of Coke because she's a big Coke girly, as are a lot of people. And the waitress was like, oh my gosh, like it's okay. Like I'm totally a Coke addict too. And then immediately after she said that, she was like, oh my gosh, like that's not what I meant. You know, cause it like sounds wrong if you say it like that. So it was a joke. We were giggling. The waitress was the cutest thing. <laughs> yep, that's me. <laughs> We are just walking around the neighborhood. We got apps. I feel like the day after like a night out or like a big party and stuff, like you're just slow. Like Katie and I were talking, we always Very have like slow. brain fog, you know, like it's a hangover, but also you're just kind of like hazy. Like you don't really want to do anything. So yeah. it's been chill. It's just like a little night out with the girlies. Not even night out. It's like and a chill, like. We're going to go get ice cream. It's like yeah. a perfect night. For a little dessert. Yeah. Tribeca is so nice. It's so wholesome. It, seriously. We just got ice cream. We got the same flavor. Brown sugar, cookie dough, brownie something. Taste us. This is very good. Wait, can you tell the story of what you're telling me? Oops. When the cone? Oh, so one day I was having a really bad day. So I went to Van Leeuwen, so I was like, I'm gonna get myself ice cream. And like, this is like a $10 ice cream. Mm -hmm. So it's not like I get this all the time. It's, it was a treat. And I went, I took a lick of my ice cream cone like she has, and I felt the scoop falling like forward so I tilted the cone this way the whole ice cream cone attacked my chest well I'll enter the picture so <laughs> yep then I called my mom and I cried and I went home I would too no that ice cream. Is, that's a hundred percent worth the tears mm. and my shirt was white oh yeah it always happens when you're wearing a white shirt always oh this is so cute Coffee and bagel time. We have matching hats that I customized for us. <laughs> Look at how cute. <laughs> First, we walked to pick a bagel to get a bagel with cream cheese. Nothing beats a New York bagel, okay? So I was so happy to have one every morning. And then we had it over to Bluestone Lane for coffee. We just picked those up and walked along the river a little bit to find some seats and a table to sit at for breakfast. It was such a beautiful day. A little bit chillier in the morning, but exactly what I was in the mood for. It was perfect. I made us these custom hats. I just thought they would be super cute and how fun to have a little bestie matching moment. We each threw on a little sweat set and wore our hats out. Got a cute picture in them and I just think they're adorable and a fun gift. Today I got an everything bagel with olive cream cheese. I will say this over and over. You're either an olive girl or you're not an olive girl. You know, it's, a, it's mm -hmm. a, like a love-hate thing. We love olive. Both olive girls. Same mm -hmm. with mayo. Mm -hmm. You either love mayo or you hate mayo. We're mayo girlies. If you don't like mayo, you need to grow up. We like the white sauces. We do. Sour cream, cream cheese, ranch, mayo. We talk about this a lot too. No, we do. It's like the four building blocks of any good meal. <laughs> yeah. um, what bagel did you get? I got a plain olive cream cheese. Very good. Very mm -hmm. scrumdily umptious, but I should have maybe not had so many dirty martinis the other night because <laughs> it's kind of bringing it back, but very they good. were good, but also like a dirty martini is a dirty martini. Like it's straight vodka. It's straight. It's always going to be straight vodka. So no matter how much you add to it, it's a lot to take in. It's a beautiful day. So nice. And we have our hats on still. Obviously. Were you a pink or a blue girl growing up? Oh, or a pink purple? for sure. Me too. That's an actor. Big famous actor. He's, he's big. Is he how big? He's in big movies. It's not Adam Sandler then. <laughs> Adam big Sandler? Movies. <laughs> Adam Sandler? What are you doing here? Waiting for them to play Gangnam Style. Who's the most famous person we've seen? Timothy Chalamet. <laughs> so no, the um, Friday night when we were like, so we went to dinner and then we went to like a few different bars after. And we kept seeing this guy that looked like Timothy Chalamet. Definitely not Timothy Chalamet. 
<laughs> I'm really duped though. Timothy Chevrolet. <laughs> Who's the coolest person you've seen? We've seen all the Bravo people, so like, mm. I have a picture with Paige DeSorbo. You have a picture? Mm -hmm. oh I met her and Craig. I met Kyle, Ariana, and Tom Sandoval. Ariana? I met them. Ariana, what are you doing here? Brandon saw Dave Portnoy. And <laughs> Owen. Oh yeah, we and met who? Andy Cohen. Oh. We actually met him. That was probably the biggest Cohen. person we've- It is really cool. It's like, New York is like nowhere else, you know? I've seen a lot of influencers. Yeah. I met Ken oh, yeah. Keenan. She was oh, yeah. so nice. Hannah Godwin. I, mean, I ran into- live um, here, but you saw her here. Yep, you know? I hung out with Hannah Godwin. I ran into Matt James. How long would you say it took you to feel like this was like home when you first moved? Two years. Yeah. Took a while. I feel like it takes me a long time to mm -hmm. get used to anywhere. And then you feel like confident, like when you see other people, you're like, oh, like this is my place too now, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. I just got a little ready because I'm actually going to go meet some family for lunch. I ran to Target and I also really need dresses for the summer. There was one that I really wanted that was like long and like red and polka dotted. It was super cute, but they didn't have my size. I mean, it's like a smaller Target, right? So I picked up this little white dress. It's kind of long, but like I could totally get it hemmed and it's just like perfect for the summer. Look at this necklace Katie got me for my birthday. It's a little cowboy boot and a heart. It's so freaking cute. This is the look. It is literally such a perfect day out. It's like sunny, but it's not too hot. I am having the time of my life out here, walking to get lunch. Oh, big vibes. You know, every time I come here, I'm just like, wow, the magic of the city. Like it really just, it's got you acting different. It feels different. It's, it's so cool that Katie lives here. Like, I just can't believe she's lived here for like three years now. It blows my mind every time. I'm like, I always tell her, I'm like, Katie, you're so cool. And she's, oh, she's like, okay. Like, she's very, like, humble about it in the best way. I met them at a restaurant in Tribeca. It's called Peros. It was so, so pretty on the inside. It's Mediterranean food. We just got a couple different plates to share. It was all so delicious. Lunch was seriously perfect. We shared a lot of plates. I didn't, like, film any of it just because I was with, like, family and stuff. But it is the most beautiful day. I cannot get over it. I found myself. Brandon told me I had a unibrow. Frida Kahlo. I accidentally turned my camera into cinematic mode, so the dimensions were changed and there's like this filter over the next few clips. I did end up fixing it, but if you notice that, well, that's what I did. But we walked around Soho for a little while, just kind of browsing and window shopping, but it's always such a fun area to go to. We went to Rigger Hill Market. It's just this little cute market store. It has a lot of like fresh things. We just sat down for a minute and had some Arnold Palmers, which always hit the spot. What is this place called? Uh, Rager Hill Market. What is this? <laughs> Rager Hill Market. Okay, cool. We walked around Soho for a little bit this afternoon, which was very nice, just like a little window shopping, you know? And now, the last stop, we're going to get cookies. Katie loves this place called Chip City. I have been here before, but I had to try two cookies. I did a Funfetti and a classic chocolate chip. Both were so delicious, and it was cool because you could get milk with your cookies as well from the place, so very cute. I literally got up at 4 a.m. and I hopped in my Uber at like 4.10 and Ubered all the way to JFK for my early morning flight. It was such a fun weekend. Happy birthday, Katie. And thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you have not and I'll see you in my next one.